before I do the jingle, want to give a shout out to Jay Laguerres and everybody who has watched this every day since the Tarot Challenge started, the 30-Day Tarot Challenge. That is awesome. Jay Laguerres and your entire family, hello and shout out to you guys, okay? Because this has been this has been grueling. Miss Yaya as well, I think, mentioned it. Anyway, now time for the jingle. <laughs> oh my goody goody, oh my God, why do they try to get blocked so bad? Oh my goody goody, oh my God, behave. Oh my goody goody, oh my God, I'm just trying to do love tarot. Call me Cupid with a bow and arrow, behave. Do you guys remember the other one? Keep your cool on my channel, please. Don't act the fool on my channel, please. Because it's a block, 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 block kind of day. And I will block, 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 block you right away. <laughs> that was the first jingle. And then we, we switched. All right, let's get started with these emails. Capricorn, stick around. End of the video, there's always a motivational talk and a bonus extra reading. Welcome to my existing Schnookums. This is Schnookums Land. Hit the Schnookums button, that's the subscribe button to get access to my free psychic and tarot gifts. Okay. That's okay. So we're checking your spiritual inbox right now, Capricorn, from your person, just to kind of see, check in, um, and see what emails they want to send to you. The first real energy here, honestly, is an apology. It's like, hey, hey, friend. <laughs> um, this is now less about romance and more about friendship. They're talking about how the friendship between two people is actually more important than what goes on with them romantically. Yeah, they're talking about kind of elevating as well. Look at this High Priestess card. It's a bit of a silence, you know. It's about you know, having the respect, a mutual respect for one another that goes beyond just the bedroom, right? Um, this is a closure issue that talks about cycles going round and round, possibly coming to an end. Um, but I do feel, you know, this person is quite connected. In fact, this is more like a phone call than an email. Right. Thank you, Taro Lexa, <laughs> my handy assistant. I didn't even know that this card was coming. And yet I said, I feel this person is connected. This card is really all about somebody who is certainly connected to you emotionally and wants to kind of approach possibly after something has been shaken off, whatever bad juju, whatever it is, this person is trying to be very positive. So all of these cards right now are very positive. But one thing that stands out is that they're very non-combative. Okay, nothing here says I want to argue, I want to fight. Nobody is pulling any sort of like guns or swords. You know, this is very much about cups. Yeah, it's about you as well. This is earth energy, pentacles happening. It's about really taking things to a place that's much more elevated. I like I like what this person is saying. Um, they're also expressing their attraction for you. You know, they're expressing how... You know, sometimes things go in and out between the two of you. They're not stable, but they, they see, this is all good wishes. This is a very good way to start this reading. I love this inbox. It's like basically dear Capricorn, um, I apologize and extend my sincerest, uh, good wishes to you. It may have been a while since we've spoken, um, and we possibly have a closure issue, um, however, I still hold a connection to you and I understand that there's a lot more that I need to give. As you can see from my display here, there are no swords. So I'm not trying to attack you. What I'm trying to do is make a decision because we have gone round and round and possibly been in a state of mixed signals and mixed messages that has been slightly imbalanced given this knight of wands here. Um, please be clear that you are my wish fulfillment, nine of cups and the star card, both wish fulfillment cards. Um, you're somebody I dream of. You're somebody I even, uh, stress about. Um, but I hope that the universe and this wheel turns in fortune for both of our sakes. I understand that I have to give a little bit more, show a little bit more emotion, which of course I don't always, um, you may accuse me of breadcrumbing, but I need to show a little bit more because I can be very guarded like this high priestess and very closed off. However, I think of you highly and I hope we can manage 
end whatever disaster happened between us that closed and shut down both of our emotions in the past. Okay. So that's the email. That's their inbox. That's what they want to have to say to you. Stick around. Love your person. Signed your person, Capricorn. Stick around. End of the video. We will have a bonus extra reading and a motivational talk for all the signs. Aquarius, it's your turn. Welcome. Day 28 of the 30-day tarot challenge. What is going on? I can't believe I've done this for 30 days straight. That's a bit bizarre, isn't it? Uh, welcome, though. Uh, one tarot video a day, every day for 30 days. Let's check your spiritual inbox, Aquarius. Let's see what your person has to say to you via email. Oh, okay. That caught me off guard. What's that doing there? The Hierophant. That's about connect connection, committedness. That's the marriage card. First, what? Well, let's see what else is going on. Hello to my existing schnookums. This is schnookums land. Hit the subscribe button. That'll get you free and easy access to my psychic and tarot gifts. Let's see. What? What? The star card, that's you. These are, wow, these are really major arcana cards. Powerful, beautiful cards. Oh, ten of cups. Oh, I like these readings today. These, yeah, your persons are really not coming with any intention of harm. They are reminiscent about you. Yeah, they're holding on to you a little bit. You know, there's been a long wait time, though, for some of you. This has been dead for a while. So why all these feelings? For some of you, this has been a no-go for a while. You've had issues, bones dried up in that closet. But somebody wants a new beginning, I can see it. Um, you tend to make this person happy, I think. It's your personality. You've got a little bit of a razzle-dazzle. Let's keep reading the email. Uh, this is talking about the past and how they're sad. Look at that. Five of Cups energy is so sad. It's talking about, you know... Um, in the past, you two had something that was very, very beautiful. Like, you know, it, it, there's something also about when they first met or saw you or spoke with you, like they really felt like joyous. Um, and so you taking that away, yeah, not opening up as much leaves them feeling absolutely terrible. Yeah. Oh, yikes. The two fives back to back like that. Horrible. Fives are never great in tarot, love tarot. So this is talking about the queen of wands energy as well. Um, you know, that's a very beautiful queen. This person really thinks you're attractive. They find you very attractive. Um, very much hot. I will say they want to speak to you as well. Um, they're hoping, you know, it's funny. I feel like this person hopes to bump into you somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. The king has come to meet the queen. So this person definitely wants a connection with you. Okay. Um, it's like, it's almost as if you took something away, like your presence away from them. And they're saying in this email that, uh, that hurts. It hurts. They're coming down off of their high heart horse and they're telling you it hurts. These are all beautiful cards. King of Pentacles wanting to build. Eight of Pentacles focus and work. Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. This is all about love for you. This is about long-term commitment. This is a brand new beginning. What? Beautiful cards. Beautiful cards. What troubles me is the middle. So this is saying, dear Aquarius, um, from the very first time I met you, you were like a dream to me, a wish fulfillment. This star card represents you. I'm focused on the energy that you bring because you make me think of rainbows. This is a rainbow card, family card. Uh, lately, I've been reflecting on the past and everything that you know I did or you did or we did to cause a certain level of overthinking or brokenness or depletion showing up here in these fives. And I've been thinking about the wait time as well. Um, you have deprived me of your pre presence or vice versa. And something about that has, uh, made me crave speaking to you even more. Would you consider, uh, a new beginning? Look, I just cut the deck. I didn't know that was going to happen, but Tarot Alexa here came in handy. Would you consider a new beginning? Something, uh, that could be brand new. Look at that. The fool represents brand new beginnings. It's something I've been manifesting with you for a while. Uh, I know that I've been stubborn, but I've also held a certain belief and respect for you. Um, in the future, I'm not opposed to our being connected. 
king and queen of wands doesn't matter your gender and sexuality this is a beautiful couple and they have this coupling energy for you will of fortune absolutely great card as well the fortune turning in your favor love your person stick around everybody end of the video there's always a bonus extra reading for all the signs it comes after sagittarius at the end of the video sagittarius is the last sign read hello to my existing schnookums this is schnookumsville schnookums land and we're trying to read some emails check your spiritual inbox for emails sent by your person let's have a look and see what's going on what do they have to say um Day 28 of our 30-day tarot challenge. Thank you for sticking around. Hit the subscribe button. That'll get you free and easy access to my psychic and tarot gifts. Now, Pisces, your person is talking about a, depa a departure, a distance. You know, somebody turning their backs, walking away. They're also making plans around something, trying to decide, you know, how to move forward. This is a victory, the chariot approaching. Um... This is someone who seems to scribble a lot. So I see this person um, very good with the pen. So either painting, drawing, scribbling. Um, that's an energy that I pick up. A ballpoint pen um, is in this person's energy. Random information, but that I picked up. Um, this is a, a very excellent card as well. This is talking about marriage and commitment. Hmm, they seem to be thinking about it. Growth. Wow. These are very powerful cards. Very powerful. King of Pentacles is really very stable energy. Uh, judgment. Wow. Amazing. So I think, you know, this person is giving themselves a makeover. Um, I think they are working on being able to sustain... Um, not just themselves, but others in a group setting. So they're working on maturing a little bit. I just said working. Look, Tara Alexa. Good job, Tara Alexa. <laughs> Look at that. That's literally a card that uh, you know speaks of labor, quite quite literally. Yeah, it's it's the Eight of Pentacles. It talks about they're working, and the assistant over here, Tara Alexa, was able to pull that out just as I was saying that. So um, that's just a validation of what this energy is giving right now. I think something is bothering this person, by the way, um, but I don't know if it has to do with you. I just know that that right now their focus and and attention is taking them away from giving you a clear response about something. So. When I start to get that pen energy, it seems like you've already contacted this person or vice versa. Yeah, because pens are showing up for me in my in my own uh, picking this up. I will say this says, dear Pisces, there is some distance and separation. I can feel the two. One of both of us, you know, have written each other in the past about certain things. And um, I've always had the intention to move forward. I take you seriously, even though you've accused me of not. I feel that you are somebody who is worthy of building with me or with somebody who deserves you. They're talking about not deserving you. See this judgment card? If you feel that I deserve you, um, I apologize uh, for making you feel either less than or I apologize to myself for not showing up for you and cooperating with you and giving you a hard time. Right now, some of my distance is caused by the fact that I have work to do. I have a lot of work to do to catch up on because I do have a vision for myself, for family, for growth and things of that nature. I'm still very much enamored with you and I will approach you soon. Okay, um, you guys have a closure issue that they're talking about and they're saying that they're not letting this go, even though there has been a little bit of time that has passed between the two of you. Uh, they're not letting it go. Let's look at some... Yeah, they keep talking about distance and apology and pens, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Whatever that means for, for all of you. But ultimately, they're saying that they're obsessed with getting this right. They're obsessed with kind of working on this so that they, they live up to their own sense of self-respect, okay? Signed, your person. All right. Stick around, end of the video, there's always a motivational talk and a bonus extra reading for all the signs. Welcome, this is Schnookums Land, hello to my existing Schnookums, day 28 of my personal 30-day tarot challenge. Let's check your email. Try and check your spiritual inbox, Aries, and see what your person has to say to you. It's a nice new beginning. Someone wants to turn over the leaf, 
turn over a new leaf, fresh start. Uh, they don't want to argue. They don't want to fight. That's just, yeah, because they can't see a way through any tension. All right. They can't see a reason for drama. They can't see the value of it. Okay. Yeah. They'd rather grow, build, connect, develop. Thank you, Tara Alexa. <laughs> um, I just said they can't see. And here the moon is all about not seeing. It's about blocking. Um, they feel something here has been toxic that you two um, possibly have sent each other mixed signals, but that if you can clear out this energy, toxicity, obsession, addiction, all of that, that maybe there's room for happiness. Maybe, you know, you can clear the air and there's a new beginning because this is a lover's card. This is about, honestly, somebody being terribly in love with you. This is, this is, you know, somebody being terribly in love with you. Ace of cups, king of cups. Those are emotions. Cups are emotions. Two of cups, emotions, lovers, emotions, love, 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 love. Somebody wanting to clear the air. Somebody wanting to talk more about happiness than about things that are dark and anxiety uh, inducing. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Yeah more growth, stability. So this person is being rocked by the idea that, you know, they could have caused any sort of imbalance for you. They want to focus on what's important. Um, these pentacles, sim you know, they're a lot. Okay. So pentacles are more like earth energy, your fire sign, but pentacles are really good in terms of, um, just symbolizing money and stability. And I think this person, yeah, they, they want their focus to be away from these shocking kind of below the belt, you know, moments in their life, in your life, in anybody's life. And to be just more on um, firmness, decision-making, that's earth energy. With these seven of cups, they're saying, they're talking about navigating through options, navigating through the storm and the muddy waters. You two must have got, gotten through something, this tower card. They're trying to navigate through that to kind of see if there's anything more stable that can happen here. Um, that's about them also being willing to take the blame, okay? To be strong enough to take the blame and to, um, hmm. yeah, this person is somebody who definitely wants to put things behind because everything is talking about putting things behind, moving forward. You see this wheel of fortune, let's move forward. Let's, you know, kind of think about more practical things like money. This person is funny. So let's think about more practical things. I want to think about more practical things like money. I don't want to think about love because love makes me feel stuck. Love doesn't really do anything for my family, for myself, for my growth, for my wish fulfillment, for my, you know, for all of that. Not love, sorry, heartbreak. They don't want to think about things that are dramatic in heartbreak, okay? So your letter is essentially saying, dear Aries, let's keep it lighter. Let's keep things lighter because I don't see a way beyond, you know, this stuck feeling that we tend to generate for ourselves just as human beings. Um, I feel, in fact, that it's been a disaster when we move in that direction and can cause lots of confusion. What I want to do instead is actually work on things that are practical, earth energy, pentacles. I want to work on myself. I want to build my own fortune. I want to grow. I want to become a lot more mature. I want to be king of my own domain and take action. So in my world, I'd rather clear the air. I'd rather take the blame and I'd rather move forward. That moving forward is what will lead to my fortune. Will a fortune lead me to be able to apologize, to get my wish fulfillment and be more relevant to my background? Anything that has to do with a heartbreak is not relevant anymore. It doesn't lead to this connection. It doesn't lead to stability. And quite frankly, I don't trust it. So are you willing to clear the air so that we can build and be abundant? Or should I just stay single, independent, separate from you? Please let me know as whatever has happened has been killing me. I'm still very much attracted to you. P.S. <laughs> and I'd like to fight for it because our history counts. 
signed your person. Stick around, end of the video, there's always a motivational talk and a bonus extra reading for all the signs. It's usually after Sag. Taurus, welcome. This is Schnookum's Land, day 28 of our my 30-day tarot challenge, my personal 30-day tar tarot challenge, which was to do one new tarot video a day, every day for 30 days. A big shout out to everybody who's been following it for every single day. Let's get started. This is Schnookum's Land. Hello to my existing Schnooks. Wow! Woo! We're checking your spiritual email, looking in your inbox from your person, f figuring out what the email from your person says. Uh, in your inbox, you're starting out really strongly. This you know, email is definitely talking about a very love-centered, love-focused energy and how your person kind of wants to connect with you. Yes, how can we be more cooperative? How can we seamlessly do this? Because I know there's been distance, but there's also been love. Wow, it's about to get, about to get on. Um, this person feels, in other words, that it's not that hard to get along. Um, sometimes it works when you two are apart from each other, you're away from each other. Um, single being better off than being in touch, but they're saying that actually, uh, they prefer it best when you two, yeah, gather in joy. This is celebration and joy. Hmm. You know, a lot of your persons today seem to be saying the same thing. It seems like everybody in these emails just kind of is saying, you know, I, I don't want to argue <laughs> and I don't know what it is about today or maybe the season. Everybody's just kind of saying, I really, I'm throwing my hands up. I really, this argumentation, five of swords energy, I really would slowly like to pull away from anything that makes you feel uncomfortable. Um, you feel bread crumbed. Um, and just boop, press that new beginning. That's what I would want. You know, I'm seeing a lot of people in their persons are just saying, Hey, uh, it's either we take a break from even knowing or dealing with each other, or we start to learn how to cooperate without being accusatory, without spying. Look at that spy craft card coming out. Um, yeah, this person is constantly thinking of you, but refusing to take action is where they stand right now. Okay, this is a too much refusal to take action because they don't know where it's going to lead. Is it going to lead to drama or is it going to lead to success? And they're just too scared to kind of, you know, dip into anything that will result in uh, conflict, trauma. So it's basically, dear Taurus... I see you in my love framework. I feel that you have potential. For a while now, we've noticed that sometimes distance, being apart, being independent, single, solo, um, can be a good thing. Even though this connection has slowed down, um, at least it has given me a chance to take a break, think, and be removed from conflict. When... I see you and it's fun in the flesh. It makes me feel whole. It makes me feel like there's uh, an ability for us to work together. And quite frankly, I apologize for any of my wrongdoing that I don't even know about because you've not expressed. I fear or I have anxiety over the stresses that this may cause when we don't speak or when I upset you or when this is upsetting or when this doesn't grow. And so I just stay to myself. It hurts me. And I stay blocked and I stay guarded, knowing very well that I have a lot of potential to give to you. Uh, I'm very emotionally connected to you, but I can be very distant, emotionally distant because of my own depressions, my own struggles, my own fate. Just know that if you've posted any selfies, I've been spying on you. I have you a lot in my memory and there's an issue here that we need to discuss discuss sorry didn't mean past tense please feel free to let me know if it's all right to press the restart button signed your person
stick around end of the video there's always a bonus extra reading for all the signs and a motivational talk hello gemini welcome to my existing schnookums this is schnookumsville we are on day 28 of my personal 30 day tarot challenge in which i'm supposed to be reading one tarot video a day every single day for 30 days what was i thinking the madness of it all hello hello let's check your spiritual email for those of you who are new here press the subscribe button so that these readings can actually apply to you because i often say schnookums and they are my subscribers all right let's see let's check your email spiritual email what does your person have to say to you the first thing in their inbox is that they've been checked out and they've been having a good time or trying to they're trying to be a lot more social this summer they're trying to get out there they're trying to have some fun they don't even again all of you your persons, you're, they're just like done with like drama this summer. It seems like this, I don't know, this email round that we're reading today is all about people just checking out. Like they don't want to do anything that's going to be like, oh, woe is me, you know, drama, drama, drama. No, they want the nightlife, the party, the, you know, or if they're the kind of person that doesn't go out, they still just want healing. The story is all about healing. Um, this is about celebration and them just slowly kind of like settling into their space and, you know, just getting a little bit tired of worry all the time. Yeah, see, them settling into their space, hermit mode, um, and just wanting to turn over this new leaf. This Ace of Pentacles has come out so many times for all the signs. You know, I'm just getting this feeling that many people, I mean, you're the sixth sign now. You know, by the time I get to the sixth sign and many of these um, readings are kind of trying to push out the same message, it seems like it's just a vibe at this point, you know, a general vibe that people are having where it's like, you know, um, the conflict thing doesn't interest them at this particular time. Now, it could just be, oh, it's because we're in July, um, but there's a, a particular disdain being expressed by this person for conflict. They don't, yeah, exactly. See, they think it's toxic. Thank you, Tarot Alexa, <laughs> my handy assistant here. Um, they think it's toxic. They don't want it. See that? Guardedness. Yeah, they're over it. You know, and if you continue to go in that direction, one thing that I am getting that's different in your reading than other readings is that this person is like, if you continue to go in that direction, they will have a word with you about it and they're willing to kind of release this. Um, so it's up to you. It's a choice. Um, particularly this summer, this is you, by the way, lover's card. Okay. Fair enough. You know, this is a very bold statement about either liking, loving, or being interested in you and wanting to move forward. It's very bold. The best, these four cards combined are telling me that this person is so into you beyond Okay, beyond, I don't know, do you know this? I don't know if you know it because I didn't know it, not from these cards. It's just saying, dear Gemini, this season is about celebration. It's also particularly about healing. Our connection slowed down for a minute there and it caused me a lot of stress. I thought about it every night and I thought about the conflict that was being generated. I felt helpless. I didn't feel like I had too many options. And I know that I've been very defensive with you. However, that defensiveness comes because I'm not very good with handling toxicity, obsession, addiction, things of that sort. Anything that I feel is dark or needs to go. I shut down. It's a big thing that this person is saying. I shut down. However, I know that in order to heal whatever it is, that's wrong with me or wrong with us or wrong with any connection I make with anybody, this trauma, I need to be able to use my mouth, communicate back and forth energy here, eight of wands energy showing. Um, and I'm willing, again, like many of the other emails that I read before yours, I'm willing boop, to press this restart button. Ace is a brand new beginning. I just want you to know that uh, you are a particular light in my life. You have a very vibrant uh, personality. It's very sunny. It's very cheery. I'm drawn to you. And I probably will always be drawn to you. Look at this Knight of Cups approaching. I expect that I will chase you, in fact, chariot coming towards you. 
because you are mesmerizing. This card represents you, Gemini. Um, what shall we do? This is a question that I'm going to leave up to you. But I want you to know that my feelings are true. Signed, your person. Stick around. End of the video. There's always a motivational talk and a bonus extra reading for every sign. End of the video. It's after Sagittarius often. Welcome, Cancer. How are you doing? This is day 28 of my personal 30 day tarot challenge. One tarot video a day, every day for 30 days. What? Yeah, that was a bit much. But we're getting through it, pushing through it. Uh, it's a sport at this point. And yeah, it's kind of working, isn't it? All right, let's go. Let's check your spiritual inbox. What does your person have to say? What emails can we read today? Oh, first card is about worry. It's about being up at night thinking about something. Let's find out what they're thinking about. What is it that they're so troubled by? Um, oh, the connection, love, emotions. Yeah, that's what cups represent, Cancer. And you're a water sign, so that's in your realm. Um Mm, somebody's okay somebody's saying beyond ego greater than ego is love is heart emotion and they're saying very clearly it's human first before ego the way that we treat people um is important so we somebody is literally saying we are human beings first before we are lovers right because something here happened that must have been disrespectful to somebody Mm hmm this tower moment i don't know specifically what it is but it hurt you see that see how i cut the deck and this just came out that means something may have happened um and somebody here wants to clear the air but something was very cutting okay some something sharp a sharp word may have been used i don't know if it was recently or if it was in the past but this person has not forgotten they don't they're basically saying in their first card that they have not forgotten because that was a sore spot Somebody must have gone below the belt here yeah, because I don't know why they wouldn't forget. It was like a dagger to them. They did not forget. They are very well aware of it. Yeah, look at them going in and just thinking about it. They're still holding on to it, you know. Um, whatever it is, I don't know. You know, maybe you don't know, but they're holding on to it and they're really struggling to kind of, you know, reset things, but it's in their mind to do so. These two aces represent new beginnings. They want to reset things. They want to have new beginnings. Um, and did I not say, I knew that the four of pentacles will come out. These cards read me now. I don't even read them. I knew it because I, I, I felt that they were holding on and that's what this represents. It's like they haven't released whatever it is that you said they did, or they said you did. Somebody did or said something here that this person is still not over, right? They're trying to be, they're trying to walk in love and light, but they're hoping for help from a higher, uh, a higher energy because they themselves don't feel like something was fair. Okay. Justice card showing up. Something was not fair. These two cards are technically Libra. We're not going to talk about signs because it's always very silly to do so. There's so many signs that show up. I mean, look at Virgo, look at Sag, look at Leo. So I don't call out signs in readings because it's, it's literally ridiculous. Every card is a sign and every person has multiple signs. So, you... all right, let us um, unpack the end of this email, which is talking about um, their inbuilt. Okay. They have an inbuilt lack of trust because of how they have watched other commitments and marriages. Okay. This person could have been married before. Um, and if not, they may have been connected to somebody when you first met them, or maybe you are indeed married to them. Either way, like this person has a distrust of connections and relationships. It's very hard for them. You know, I think maybe the way they grew up or something. Yeah. Marriage is like something that they've watched. They've watched connections, possibly a father figure. You see that showing up here. Um, and they, they want to be better. I feel like they want to be better. They want to be like somebody who's into family, but they have some conflict opinions and guardedness and toxicities, addictions, things like that, that kind of hold them back, obsessions, you know, just like little flaws or major flaws that they're trying to work on, you know, in order to be that person they want to be. But either way, their email is saying, dear cancer, I'm not yet healed. 
I'm not yet over certain things. You either cut me off or I cut you off. And it has left me broken, depleted in a way that keeps me hanging on. I haven't spoken or I've been to myself. I've been more silent because I'm hoping and wishing on this wheel of fortune that love can begin again or emotion can begin again or talk can begin again. For in some cases, I'm also looking for a new job. <laughs> Something here I don't feel was fair. I'm working on something contractual, signing documents and things of that sort. I'm also being strong. I have a vision here um, that I want to get to in terms of love, even if you see me as someone who can be toxic or blocked. Um, I hope you understand that my trust issues are rooted in something much more deep than you may understand. They're rooted in how I grew up, possibly how I watched other connections, specifically to do with marriage. One day, when I heal, I might come charging. Signed, your person. Stick around in the video. There's always a motivational talk and a bonus extra reading. Let's have a go, Leo. Um, if you're not signed to my channel, if you're not subscribed to this channel, you may want to hit the schnookums button. That's the subscribe button. Gets you free and easy access to my psychic and tarot gifts. Hello, hello. To my existing schnookums, this is schnookums land. This is day 28 of my 30-day personal tarot challenge where I do, ooh, what? Seven of swords. Where I do one tarot reading every day for 30 days. Leo, that's a very nasty start. I mean, this is definitely a reading that has taken a, a, a turn for the very confusing. Every other sign before this was different. Let's have a look. Unlike every other sign, what I'm picking up, Leo, is that this person is slightly, you know, their ego tends to be easily bruised. They're very full of themselves, very conflict prone, very conflict prone individual. Um, they're going through an anxiety right now that I can feel. This is not trusting energy. It's either you don't trust them or they don't trust you. And so we're checking the spiritual inbox right now that you know we have for you the emails that your person um is sending and this this email is very uh cantankerous it's filled with argumentation really <laughs> this isn't nice it's not as nice as the rest um at least it doesn't start out that way later on you know middle of the email we're talking about a possible um apology but it's still still very little this is little, this is maybe starting again. This is very good, but um, all these other things, it really is hard for this person to apologize because they live in the past. They live in what already happened. Yeah, they have a funny way of showing their love. Queen and King of Swords are definitely a couple and a pair, and this is talking about wish fulfillment, which is you. They want you. And yet the way they express it is by being silent and playing childish games. This person can be very childish, and I don't know why. Um, they can also sort of make you wait a long time for a response to something that you've asked them. And the thing is, okay, so that's why the Seven of Swords is showing up here, because this person seems to have a lot of feelings for you, but then, you know, they mask it in this. Do you know how opposite Six of Wands is to Five of Pentacles? That's two different energies. You know, um, this is somebody who actually wants to move forward and wants to manifest you, and yet they're hiding it. So we're exposing this person through their email. Let's read your inbox. It says, Dear Leo, there's a lot that you don't know about me because I can be very defensive. I know that you probably think I'm full of myself, but maybe that's why we're attracted to each other, because I think you're full of yourself too. <laughs> King and Queen of Swords energy, this is a couple. Even though we may prod, pick and fight and disagree on certain things, this is how I see us as a couple. Gender, sexuality doesn't matter. I see us together. I see us as being very feisty individuals using that sword, their communication energy with the swords. I see us as being very outspoken. And when we come together, I feel that we are a force. Um, despite this conflict um, and despite my having made you wait for responses, particularly when it comes to communication. 
Uh, understand that my facade is just my facade. Left to me alone, I would apologize to you because you're still in my wish fulfillment. At the moment, I'm thinking of you constantly reflecting back to memories, uh, wanting to close or heal issues that have not been closed yet. I also want you to know that my feelings for you have always been pure and real. However, I suffer from anxieties, things that you do not know, and I keep them silent because I think they're nobody's business. If one day I can get over the burdens that I face, I will come charging and I will speak to you because after all, it is my duty to show you how much I care. Signed, your person. Stick around, end of the video. Usually after Sagittarius, I bury a secret bonus reading for all the signs, as well as a motivational talk. Hello, hello to my existing schnookums. How are you guys doing? We're reading today your inbox. What's in your spiritual inbox? What is your person? Wow. Oh my God, this is incredible. What is your person? This is you, the Hermit card. What does your person have to say to you in your email today? Let's check it. Let's check it, Virgo, and see quickly. Um, this is day 28 of my 30-day tarot challenge, if I've not mentioned that. It was one tarot video a day, every day for 30 days. Thank you guys so much for watching every single video. Wow. Uh, this is the Empress card and the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Okay. Hmm. This is, an, this is a magnificent card to start with, but there's an issue here that's being pointed out, and it has to do with distance, emotional, psychological, physical distance. Um, and I don't think this person has actually seen you physically in a while. Um, they're talking about a particular type of conflict that's going on, and um, the way certain things are expressed, okay? They're expressed in a way as if you don't mind argumentation or you don't mind conflict that's for some of you for others of you this is talking about the opinions of others in their connection with you or with anybody quite frankly what they want to do is just take this leap of faith start fresh you know it's been a long time for some of you they've been watching you they've been thinking about you this is a page of swords card so spying either whether social media research things of that sort or just Google, they've been thinking about it. Um, but I can't ignore that somebody here must have said something that this person is thinking about too. Um, very harsh, aggressive approach. One or both could have a very harsh or aggressive approach in the way they speak or communicate. That's coming up. But other good, beautiful cards are coming up too. I mean, this is talking about marriage. It's talking about commitment, stability, all of those great things. Hmm. You know, this person is very spiritual, though, I have to say. They're going inward to think about something. Hanged man, temperance. This is somebody, you know, because the hanged man is not just about being stuck. It's a very spiritual card. The hanged man goes that way so that he can reflect. Um, Four swords is also about rest, reflection, you know, and all of those things. So this person wants to, um, hmm. okay, so this came out a bit forcefully. So let's have a look. This is the lovers and it's the king of cups. Somebody is mad about, when I say mad, they're crazy about what to do. This, this is them going absolutely insane. They're crazy about what to do, you know, because they've been reflecting on you for a while. They don't really know how to bridge the gap and it's making them sad. I think somebody can't figure something. This person cannot figure something out here with you. And yet they're so enamored by you. They think you're absolutely stunning. They think everything about you is beautiful. But so, something here is difficult for them to figure out also something here is about their healing look at more healing coming out so when you have hanged man four swords star card it really is pointing to this person in a state of healing and working on themselves so that they can come out to be abundant wow i think this person is going to be successful uh financially successful yeah, they, you know, it's, it's a dream that they've been working on since childhood. And uh, whether it's being an attorney, being a successful business person, real estate, whatever it is, contractually, even an artist, whatever it is, I think this person is going to come into a new opportunity that's going to make them very successful. And I think that's why some people think that they're full of themselves or they want to be full of themselves. And they're working on that. They're working on their success, growth and abundance. That's why they're starting with the Empress, 
Empress card. Your letter, your email says, Dear Virgo, I think you're absolutely stunning. And I just want you to know that I've been focusing on my well-being, my growth, and my happiness. This requires me to be intense. I need to work. I need to pay the bills. I need to focus on these kinds of things because I know that they are what will sustain me and allow me to be in a connection with anybody. So if I have been distant physically, emotionally, or otherwise, know that I'm still watching you, whether you post something, whether you don't talk to me. Um, and I've been fighting off the opinions of others um, by just kind of taking some time to myself and reflecting on the memories, the good times, and the wishes that I have to be with somebody in a steady way. Um, very soon, I will approach, this is them approaching, uh, with a new beginning, a proposal for a new beginning, but some of this will take time. Can you give me your patience, or do we still have a trust issue? Please let me know. Understand that everything is not about doing. Sometimes it's about resting, relaxing, healing, thinking before making a move. Signed, your person. Stick around, end of the video. There's always a bonus extra reading and a motivational talk. Um, it's for every sign. It usually comes after Sagittarius, which is the last sign I read. Hello to my existing schnookums. This is Schnookums Land, day 28 of my personal 30-day tarot challenge doing one video a day every day for 30 days for all the signs that's amazing thank you so much for sticking around let's check your spiritual inbox and see what your person has to say to you all right so some of you may have put somebody down because of how much they have or how much they don't have um or that's just a complex that this person deals with it's like can i afford literally to date <laughs> And to be in a connection long term, is this something I can afford? This person has asked themselves that question. Wow. Um, some of you will see an opportunity very soon. A competitive energy is showing up here. You might see somebody who resembles um, or competes with your person show up soon. And this person has been thinking about that. They've been thinking about the fact that they are not the only fish in the sea. See them thinking? Four of Swords energy. They're thinking about the fact that there can be a challenge um, to what they bring because if what they bring is not nourishing, is not filling enough, somebody else could take their crown. That's why they're two kings competing right there. They're thinking also about um, themselves, to be quite fair. Um, they're thinking about all the development work that they've had to do um, on their own. This is somebody who's probably had to work on their own to build and sustain themselves. It really bothers them, actually. Um, and so they can check out if they feel unemployed or broken. This is a very, very, this is very much, you know what? Thank you, Tara Alexa, because um, I hadn't even said it. And then Tara Alexa pulled this out. My handy assistant, this is talking about unemployment, really. Um, they're worried about unemployment. This is an insecurity about their finances. If their finances are not correct, you know, they don't feel like they can celebrate. And it's funny how they started, you know, with that energy, talking about fullness, finance, and the ability to give in any situation, any connection. Because what they have is love, fundamentally. You know, that's what they're able to give, sort of emotionally. But connection in terms of, you know, money is 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 not... Uh, it's not over their heads. It's something that they think about all the time. Look at them thinking about it all the time. Even when you are in their dream of dreams, um, look at you again showing up here. You are this person's ultimate, and yet um, there's a challenge for this person that drives them mad. You see that tower card? You two possibly had a disaster of some sort. But they're in manifestation mode. And slowly but surely, they're building, right? And you have to give them that grace is what they're asking for. That's why they've been defensive. That's why they hold back. That's why they're still in planning mode. That's why possibly somebody could have caused a pain here that have let, that has left one or both of you single. However, it is not erased the fact that this person has been attracted to you emotionally. It's just right now is a hard time for this person. They could possibly be depressed or dealing with a boss issue or dealing with some traumas, okay? So what the letter is saying, dear, Libra, 
um, stability is what I want for myself and for you. And I know that if I'm not stable as a person, you could have other options. Um, so I think about that very quietly and silently, and I don't show you that I'm broken. I also don't show you when I'm up ruminating, thinking, you know, over and over again, whether it's day or night. Well, the thing I would love most is to celebrate with you and to see you in person. However, I know I have duties and responsibilities and I'm very well aware of what broke between us. You've always been in my love framework. You are essentially soulmate material. And I know that I need to do right by you. You see that justice card? Eventually, I see myself approaching because I do have feelings, but it could be slow. Let us see what the universe manifests and whether we're supposed to be together or be alone. Signed, your person. Stick around, end of the video. There's always a bonus reading for all the signs and a motivational talk. It comes after Sagittarius. Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome. This is Shnookum's Land. If you're not one of us, hit the subscribe button. It'll get you free and easy access to my psychic and tarot gifts. Scorpio, what are we talking about here? Well, let, let's look at your spiritual inbox and see what your person is talking about, what they're trying to say to you uh, in your email. Let's read their email, Scorpio. This is day 28 of our 30-day tarot channel. I can't believe it. One video a day, every day for 30 days. Um, thank you for sticking around. The Fool, the Ten of Cups. That's, these, these are great cards. Great energy. What does this want to say? Oh, okay. It gets even better. I think this person is giving you an opening. I don't know who the leader is here, but uh, <laughs> this person is trying to use their prowess to get you. They're trying to use something bedroom related to kind of get you uh, mesmerized by them again. Ace of Wands with the devil. Oh, yeah, that's what that is. Um, because not having you speak, right? I didn't even see this coming. Uh, not having you speak is a source of conflict, internal conflict for this person. They talk about the beginning. They keep talking about the beginning. Something about the beginning, in the beginning, this was an instant connection. And then I think it turned into a nightmare. That's what I see also. Five of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Devil energies just kind of permeating. I know I put the Devil card away, but I do think and feel that this must have been very nice. This was a connection that was not as deep. You know what I mean? Like heartbreaking and all of that like it wasn't it was playful you see what i'm saying this is a playful card first card in the email so it's really talking about how light this was and uh it's talking about how there was just like this weird separation walking away just being done with each other in a little bit you know um and then coming back and speaking but then having like these harsh words and you know, like, I don't even know how that happened, you know, because I always felt like this for you. This is the lover's card. This person, oh, they really like you a lot. Really, really. I mean, true. I mean, well, as truly as these cards can be read, okay, um, that I just don't see them having lost their feelings for you. But I also think this person has just issues with feelings anyway. They, they, once they, like or love somebody it's hard for them to kind of shake it you know they don't just like put their emotions like the emotions don't die as quickly as you would think based on the way that they're acting right yeah this entire row is telling that story of how um they're quite connected you know um they, they see you in a certain way they also hold you to a high regard you must be somebody who's great with speech you know the, the the sword pointing upward something you say is able to affect them you see that you are victorious they want to be victorious with you and in fact a lot of them want this to have got, gotten to the next stage and when it didn't you know silence and ego and pride slow moving you know I, I think at some point yeah the, the wheel stopped turning here and it was very stressful for this person because you two just weren't speaking there was something that was broken and so that silence is showing up all of this is silence depletion this is silence this is the pre depletion this is them really being worried about it thinking about it at night very stressed about it um but yet you know even with this hermit hermit mode um 
you know, they're acknowledging that the connection slowed down, but they slowly and surely, steadily wanted it to pick up again. And uh, they find you very beautiful, very attractive, um, again, despite not speaking. So this is essentially saying, dear Scorpio, uh, when I met you, things were lighter. They were, you know, less intense. And um, I saw a vision. I had a vision with you because there's something you did with my heart that I really enjoyed and loved. I saw you in my framework and I connected with you emotionally. Um, in fact, the, the kind of emotion I feel or felt for you is not something that is typical. Um, however, I think letting outside opinions, whether from your friends or mine, um, stopped the flow of something and caused a certain type of walking away or distance that I didn't see coming, but left me thinking for a while because I felt that you would say something. You are the King of Swords, or maybe you felt like they would say something and neither of you took that and pushed it forward. You know, neither of you jumped into the spiritual Uber. Beep, beep. Now the Uber is back again. And that's what they want to focus on. They want to focus on whether it is worth jumping into this spiritual Uber so that you guys can move forward and get to the next stage. Or if this person just has to gallop into the sunset on their own and build for themselves. This will be an option. This will be a choice. But just know that they're healing and that you are in their wish fulfillment. This is the star card. Wish fulfillment and wish fulfillment manifesting you, manifesting a conversation with you, knowing very well that you've waited after a period of disaster. Okay, signed your person. Let's keep checking emails. Stick around, stick around. End of the video. There's always a motivational talk and a bonus extra reading. It comes after Sagittarius. Sag, let's have a look at your reading. Welcome to Schnookums land. If you are an existing Schnookums, how are you doing? Uh, if you're brand new here, press the subscribe button. That'll get you free and easy access to my psychic and tarot gifts. Sag, let's check your spiritual inbox and see what your person has to say to you today. Can't wait to get into these juicy emails. Um, all right. Well, this person is weighing a decision. Um, they're making a plan about something. They're trying to see how to calculate and plan something in a way, um, that benefits their happiness and possibly yours. A lot of these readings today, we're talking about how, you know, happiness is so paramount, especially this summer, people getting along, how people are no longer interested in the dramas of love, but really interested in, you know, just spreading good vibes. So this person is talking a lot about good vibes, you know, cooperation, good peace, good happiness. Yeah. Boop, pressing that brand new beginning. For some of you, this person is making a plan because they're looking for a new job, new work opportunity. Aces are new. Um, yeah, I just, oh, thank you, Tara Alexa. I just spoke about that employment. Um, so I don't know if somebody lost a job, is unemployed or depleted, or if this just is talking about their, um, they're missing you. They're not feeling whole when you're around. But that's coming up in the email that we're reading today. Um, for a lot of you, this probably has a lot to do with work because it's cooperative energy and cooperating with other people. So they're just saying that like they really need their happiness right now because they're very anxious. This is anxiety showing up. They're anxious about something and I think it's about work. OK, so they're not really trying to they're not trying to get into like the whole like love drama thing. They're just trying to chill. They're just trying to, you know, have. Yeah, have good communication, especially with that eight of wands energy. And yeah, they, they're trying to put their best foot forward. I like this person's willingness to recognize their priorities, if I'm honest with you. But they're also saying, you know, that they want to have enough. You know, this seems very, very similar to some other readings where it's like, I want to have enough for a connection. I want to have enough for a relationship. And I want to start over, clear the air and do something differently than I've done before. And I respect that um, because this person is suffering through this is baggage anxiety all over the place. They are, you know, not altogether well when it comes to the romantic realm. Um, and they, but they want to be right. Empress is great energy. They want to be in abundance and it's been hard for them. Now, this letter says, dear Sagittarius, I'm making a plan. This plan will involve my happiness at the head of things. It will not involve, as you can see in all of this spread, the priority cards here are not talking about romance. What this person is saying is 
Dear Sagittarius, this is practicality. This is action mode. And this is my happiness at the head of things. I have to take action to stabilize myself. And I would like to cooperate with you more. I do not want to argue. I don't want to fight because that takes a toll on me. It triggers anxiety and it makes me feel heartbroken more than you know. Um, I'm trying to manifest a new beginning over here. Aces, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, new beginnings. That new beginning is in the area of work and it's in the area of communication with you. If we do happen to talk, right? Eight of Wands energy. I would like to express to you why it is that I feel insecure sometimes financially and sometimes don't have enough to give, uh, whether it's emotionally or otherwise breadcrumbing. And maybe you will respect my vision for growth and abundance. Maybe you will be able to see that there's a lot more that I can give, but there's a lot that I'm working on to give. For now, I understand that we have remained stuck However, I'm trusting you, temperance represents Sagittarius, and I'm trusting time. If we are meant to be, look at that, contract, marriage card, um, then one of us will have to release this holding back, release this closure issue, and allow the wheel of fortune to turn in our favor. Signed, your person. Welcome, everybody. This is the bonus reading for all of the signs, as you can see. So... Um, I'm going to do a quick question make it very short term. And this will be for, uh, my subscribers. Yeah. Me and my subscribers. Let me arrange this. Um, let's see what we can ask. Let's make it short term this time. Let's see what's coming up, um, in your love life or with your person just, you know, this week ahead, what's in the week ahead. Let's have a peek and see what's going to happen. Oh my God. All right. Well, be careful what you wish for because this is wish fulfillment. It's dynamite. It's a blast. It's a new beginning. It's going to make you very happy. I mean, you can't ask for a better card than that. <laughs> okay. At least for this week coming up, honey. Um, what? Oh my goodness. This means a lot of you have to follow up with me and tell me the deal. Because you're coming out of a phase of just sadness and going into absolute bliss. Bliss is what's coming up. What? And this is all happening next week? Well, please give me the juicy juice. I really want to know because I don't know who is watching these secret readings. Oh, some of you are going to have an encounter. Careful, careful. This is a bedroom encounter. You know, this card is of the flesh. This is of carnal desire. Yes. Some of, some of you are manifesting it after a heartbreak um, that has made you very anxious, hurt, all of that. I think an opportunity to heal is coming up. An opportunity to heal. This is also about healing. It's not just about wish fulfillment. An opportunity to heal in love is coming up for you. Um... Oh, and it's coming up with somebody that you basically haven't trusted. And yet that person is approaching. Oh, this is going to be juicy, juicy. And a message too is coming up via email, something very tough. You, I think you two will work through it. You've been through some nasty stuff with this person. It's saying it's very nasty. It's not, it's not made you feel good. It's not made them feel good, but you two are going to have a very good, um, tete a tete. Just be very patient. Um, you know, don't rush commitment and all that. Just, you know, let it do what it has to do. There's going to be some stubbornness. It's going to be like, you know, some pride, but let it do what it has to do. And that's what your reading is saying. Um, I'm glad I have all the signs here because my motivational talk, my motivational talk is really about, um, being open not just to all the signs, but to all the people. Okay. Just, you know, I know s selection and selectivity and all that is important, but I'd like to give all the single gals and, and guys, I mean, really I'm talking to the gals because the guys are different. You know, I think that's a different lecture and I think it's different the way that men, um, view and look for a partner. So you, um, guys, I may have to talk to you some other time right now. This is for the ladies, um, particularly ladies who feel, um, 
kind of like they will not find their person or find somebody who, um, you know, matches certain criteria. It's an assignment. And uh, when I came up with this, I was kind of overjoyed. I was like, you know what? This is a good assignment to share. Um, I want you, regardless of where you look. Now, I've not really been an advocate of the dating apps recently. I know some of my readings I was, and I was telling you what to write. And I said, please be very upfront in your bio. Please say, um, I'm very clearly looking for a connection with someone that will end in commitment and will be characterized by lovely dates and courtship. I've told you guys to write that in your dating apps if you're using that. Um, however, sometimes I'm not very keen on dating apps only because I have heard of, researched, and seen them attract a particular group of people. Again, we're talking about men more so than women, but yeah, generally speaking, it's it, it, the heterosexual man. Um, so... But for this exercise, I think that you can use dating apps or you can use whatever it is. You can go out and, you know, have fun with your friends and use whatever it is that's at your disposal. And what I want you to do, particularly if you're looking and particularly if you're stuck on one person, which a lot of you are, and I know that you shouldn't be and you know that you shouldn't be, but you keep being stuck on this one, one person and you keep coming to readings and you watch every tarot ch channel that will tell you the same thing about or different things about the same person, hoping to figure the person out. And you know what that does? That depletes your time. It hangs your energy. It keeps you bound. It doesn't grow you up and it doesn't move the ball forward. So what I want you to do in this assignment is open things up. Um, if you're an Asian woman, if you're a black woman, if you're a white woman, if you're a Middle Eastern woman, if you are an Eastern European woman, if you're a Russian woman, if you are a Lebanese woman, an Australian woman, if you are a Christian, if you are whatever you are, and you've been told that there's only one type of person for you, what I want you to do is open that up and explore different types of people just as an exercise. Remember, this is just dating. So it's a dating challenge that I'm giving you for those of you who would like to dip your feet out there. Open it up because there are things that hide in places that are clear sight in front of us, but we can't see them because we're tunnel visioned, right? So open it up, just take it as a date and say, I'm going to, you know, Go to whatever Italian restaurant with somebody who is, I don't know, Middle Eastern. I'm going to go to a cafe with somebody who's Italian. I'm going to go to a movie with someone who is African. I'm going to go to the beach with someone who is, you know, I don't know, of Irish descent. It doesn't matter. The point is that there's so much world out there, so many people out there. And some of you who watch these tarot videos, you're living like literally 1% of your world for zero reason whatsoever. Like you're like you're living like this. We're all doing it. You, we live like just this little boop, boop, boop. This little tiny 1% when there's so much world out there. Absolutely no excuse in 2022. For what? Why? Why are you doing that to yourself? What is the rule that says that you have to be so confined and you have to be so rigid and you have to be so dogmatized? Why are you driven by dogma and philosophy that it is just this one? No. Find out. Research in the meantime. Leave your cocoon. Okay? The assignment is, I went to dinner with, you know, this person of Filipino descent, you know, who took me to XYZ place. I enjoyed a game of basketball with this person of Mexican descent who took me to this sports bar. I uh, strolled on the beach with this person of Middle Eastern descent who, you know, took me to Santa Monica Beach. 
That's the template. I enjoyed XYZ with someone of XYZ descent who took me to XYZ place. Follow that template and make sure it's different each time so that you get a mix and you get your juices going and you don't concentrate all of your energy on one person or one type of person or one type of thing or one type of... Oh, because that's so confining. And sometimes you can feel it in the cards when people are confined. You can feel it when you can't get through and, you know, you get this devil card. It's an obsession. It's a toxicity almost, and it's a disservice to yourself. To get the full breadth of the world, you have to let yourself experience things that go beyond your fears and go beyond all the confines that we've all been taught to have. I know, you know, those of us who may have grown up Christian may have been taught, hey, you know, stay out of the Muslim realm because, you know, that could be very difficult. And just as I say that, Tara Alexa, my handy assistant, brings up this card, which represents Christianity, the Hierophant, Christianity or religion of any kind, uh, because it's talking about tradition and societal values, values that don't change, values that are rigid and are respected through time, tradition. That's what this represents. And what I'm saying to you is that time is indeed valuable. And rather than holding on, Four of Pentacles, this represents time, temperance. Four of Pentacles represents holding on. Go and see the world. So my cards are actually speaking in tandem with me, and they're saying exactly to you what I'm saying. So they are agreeing with me, and they're saying, go out there and explore the world just a little bit more. I know, you know, some of us like to be hermits. I definitely like to be a hermit, and, I, I, and I'm not accessible, okay? So I'm not asking you to be accessible in that way. If you don't want to be, I'm not saying, oh, just go out there and be open to any old thing, right? Because this project can take you a year or two. It doesn't have to be done in a week. It can take you multiple years, but it's a step in the right direction to say, let me be open. More importantly, I want to define for a lot of you who have forgotten what it means to date. Date doesn't mean come over to my house and sit there and let's stare at each other and let's do nothing and let's just waste time emotionally. And then you build all these emotional feelings for somebody who doesn't even take you anywhere or date you. A date means a place. It means a time. It means outside of your house. It means courtship. Okay, and I'm saying this because I noticed that a lot of women have skipped these concepts. I don't know how people have raised us as women, as daughters, to be treated by gentlemen. I don't know where those values are going. Now, you know, you meet somebody and by the second time, I can't even call it a date, they just come over to your home and eat your chips and go home. They eat your crisps and they go home. And then you develop emotions for this person who's never bought you flowers. Who has never taken you anywhere or if they have you guys have gone ahead and you know split the bill each time well if i was gonna pay for myself I, you know then it wouldn't be a date would it i'm just giving you certain values that are mine i'm not saying you have to adapt them or adopt them i should say or adapt to them i'm saying to you that you need to understand what your own standards are and what courtship means to you and when you define that then apply the template of the world being bigger and big enough so that you have enough fish in the sea so that you're not there stuck on one person i want to leave you with that assignment and leave you with that template which is i don't know the hot nerds 30 day dating challenge and for some of you if this is going to take you a while maybe it's 365 days but either way the template is i experienced xyz with this person of xyz background who took me to xyz place and xyz has to be variable it can't be i experienced the bedroom with this person of the same background whom i always go for who took me to absolutely nowhere. And now I'm stuck on him and reading tarot videos and watching tarot videos about him. Because that's what a lot of you are guilty of. Sorry to call you out. 
but you are here lamenting and wanting and fiending for people who have done absolutely nothing for you, have shown you nowhere, have given you nothing that you can really tangibly hang on to. Because if you could have, then you would have been with them long term. Um, but they've caused you um, undue stress without even courting you properly. And I just want you to remember that courtship is important. Gentlemanhood is important. The way you're treated is important. And for the fellows who just so happen to be watching, ladies, um, this is obviously a very heterosexual talk, um, but ladies, you have a responsibility to carry yourself as women and as ladies as well, right? So um, give other people the opportunity to court you, be respectful, be kind, walk away if something is not working, do not give mixed messages, um, enjoy yourselves and, you know, be a light onto that little girl or that little person inside of you who has craved uh, respect, love, care, attention and safety, safety um for all of this time because you deserve it all right let's go this can go forever this is a topic i can talk on and on and on forever so let me go have a good one